Hey there folks, Joey DeAngelis here with the first installment of our new series, Disney Worlds, relating to the magical world of Disney. So for this week's episode, we're going to be talking about Avatar. Now, why Avatar? Not Avatar The Last Airbender, mind you, the one with the blue people that made a lot of money somehow. Because that is going to be made and currently being built into a Disney World um, a Disney World uh, section in their park, Disney's Animal Kingdom. So, a little background on this. Avatar was released in 2009, directed by Academy Award winner James Cameron. And the film was a visual, a very visually very impressive. Everybody made fun of the story for being similar to Dances with Wolves and Pocahontas. But it became the highest grossing movie of all time. And it was a big craze for a while. I mean, I can't remember... The last time for a non um, for a new IP that people went this crazy about it, and everybody was like saying, "Oh, you need to see this movie in 3D. It's amazing." And that was the first and last time I heard that statement. And so, like uh, two years later, nobody. Well, actually, we're now like six, like seven years later. Nobody talks about this movie except in relation of its box office. Or this section in Disney World that they're building. So let, let's get into this. So they released a couple of concept art images of the world of Avatar. So like a new restaurant, like cantina sort of area, a gift shop. You know, and there's been uh, numerous pieces of concept art and like models that they've shown off in the past. So, you know, like they have the floating mountains even from the movie. And you're like, how are they going to do that? And it's like the structure that they've got looks amazing and I was actually able to see uh, that construction in person when I was in Disney World a couple months ago. It does look amazing, and it's a giant, giant piece of work. And it's going to be interesting to see all that fully completed. But if it's anything like the concept arts, uh, we're really in for it. Real treat here. What, what are we going to expect from this Avatar Land? Visually, it's going to be insane, and the attractions are going to be amazing. From what I've heard, there's at least two rides. One of them is like a boat ride, so something like Pirates of the Caribbean, or it's a small world, and you have like animatronic Navi and other creatures of the world of Avatar. Then you're going to have what I believe is like a flight simulator type of ride, so very much similar to Soren in Epcot and Disney's California Adventure. So a flight simulator type of ride, which will be awesome because... Man, that's that just sounds insane. You put on the 3D glasses and you just fly over Pandora. That's awesome. We're going to get that. I guess it, it's their new flight vehicles, I guess, or if it's going to be on the backs of those uh, flying creatures from the original film, which looked really cool. Regardless, I think this is the best way to use the Avatar IP. I'm just considering that I'm not a fan of the original film and I'm not excited about four more sequels I think we're getting. But I can say that with Avatar, Disney Imagineers generally know how to do it right. Looking at things like New Fantasyland and some of the great work they've done in Shanghai Disneyland and some of the other great things that they made, Expedition Everest and all that, a numer numerous examples. They know how to make things right. With an IP like Avatar, they'll knock it out of the park. Takeaway from Avatar is that visually it's amazing. Which means it's perfect for a theme park experience. It do almost doesn't even matter the type of IP that you have. And if that's like a visually impressive like world, people will go to it. And I mean, if it's a good ride, people will ride it. This is a good move. The more I think about it, it'll be an interesting theme park experience. This is also in addition to the fact that we're not even talking about uh, Toy Story Land and Star Wars Land in Disney's Hollywood Studios. And, and that's going to be a, a, like an amazing, amazing attraction to see. And looking at all of, like the concept art for that, that's going to be really cool. But with Avatar, I think Disney has the right hands to handle this type of IP. Once it opens, it'll be amazing. Despite the fact that the Avatar IP isn't that interesting outside of it being visually really cool, it'll be fun as a theme park experience. Like again, theme park experiences are not always about are not necessarily about storytelling. They are about an exhilaration, a thrill of some kind. That's all I really have to say about Avatar Land. It's going to be great. I really have to say, definitely check out our Facebook page, Disney Worlds. After give it a like. It's in the description box below. Also, if you haven't had a moment to check it out, check out our Inside the Man Cave 
trailer reaction to Kong Skull Island, as well as Richard and Gifford's excellent review of the extended cut of Suicide Squad. All right, guys, peace out.